Hi everyone and welcome back to Beavers. I've got four of you by the look of it. Although I've lost the numbers now, but it was four. Oh no, six of you. Um, lovely to see you. Hope you've had an okay holiday. Like last time, we're going to imagine we're in the hall and I've said gather logs. Um, and then we're going to do our start. But today I've I've got some shout outs. So when I put the letter up, you can shout out and we'll do our do our beaver shout. So let's go. We're all in a circle and I say build a dam. This isn't going to be quick enough. Oh. 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 Hello, Coral. Hello, beavers. Give me a B. Give me an E. Give me an A. Give me a V. Give me an E. Give me an R. Give me an S. And what do we got? And what do we have? And what do we make? Brilliant stuff. Hope you've had a good time in the holidays, even with lockdown. Um, hope you've got your pen and paper ready. Because uh, we are drawing today using your hands. I know that sounds silly because you can use a hand to hold a pencil, aren't you? But we're going to use your hand as the starting point to draw three things. Again, I will email the instructions. So if you miss a bit or you can't catch, you know, you miss a bit on the way through and you don't want to watch again. Um, after the session, I'll email the instructions so you can catch up during the week. And again, send me your pictures and I can cross you off on either your creative challenge or your skills. Um, so we are going to do a swan. And a giraffe head and a fish. There you go. Yours will be much, much better because you can just do the outline in pencil this evening. Um, and then spend the week or a few days colouring them in nicely in proper colours rather than the blue ones that I'm going to do just as just as the cameo. So we're going to start with a swan. And what you have to do, this is quite tricky. What you have to do is put your hand. Oh, hang on. I need to move my camera down so you can see the paper. There we go. I'm, do, I'm drawing around my left hand because I simply can't hold a pen with my left hand and draw. So you need to put your hand flat on the paper towards the, the top of the paper with your thumb as straight as you can because that's going to make the neck of your swan in a minute. So you need that as straight. Doesn't, it can't be like this. It needs to be as straight out as you can. Okay. And then you draw around your hand like so. I've only got a great big thick pen so you can see. Okay. Right, and then you take your take your hand off. And then you can turn your paper over so that the thumb's sticking upwards. Okay. Give you a few minutes to do that. Oh, hi, Callum. I can see, I can read your live chats. I can't type and, and answer to them because that would take me far too long. But hi, Callum, nice to see you. I presume Gabriel's there as well. He was there last week or well, last time. Okay, so hopefully you've got your hand, you've drawn around your hand, you've turned it over so the thumb is sticking upwards. Now take your pencil and the first thing you're going to do um, is the swan's head which comes off from your thumb from the top of the thumb there you're going to draw around to make a head, the neck and the head shape and a bill and then come back into that one now you see that is useless my practice one was much better but 
there we go let's try and put a bill on there there we go it's a bit better probably making it worse in the process give him an eye now if you can see my practice one that was much better wasn't it would look like that really but there we go you can always try again so that's made your neck and your head and a very scruffy bill okay and then where your wrist was and you couldn't draw you just make the front of his chest so you just join that up together there we go and then for his tail where your fingers were this end you just draw out like a swan tail thankfully he's sitting on the water so you don't have to try and do legs with your swan and then just put in a bit of detail for the feathers a few lines for his wing there and the top of his wing there and there just from your hand the start of your hand you have a swan as i say my example one was much better and you can practice as often as you like if he does he hasn't turned out to this was my second attempt okay how are we doing with the swan guys do we need a bit more time The guide sheets, which is what I'm copying, this is the guide sheet I'm copying. I will email these after the session. So if you've got lost or you're struggling, or it's not too bad, but you'd like a second attempt before you colour it in nicely, then you can have another go again. We're good, jolly good. Thanks, Camilla. So we'll move on i'm going to get a clean sheet of scrap paper because my marker pen going through obviously okay that was the swan needless to say that was probably the easiest although the fish might be i'm not sure i think this one's probably the easier one but there we go okay giraffe head he will look much better when you do him because as you can see from the there we go that's the sort of colouring he's meant to be and when you get your sheet and can colour him in properly he won't he won't look all blue like my one but there we go okay you need your paper portrait this time actually because he's very up and down not quite sure how i'm going to do this but there we go let's just do that because yeah we, there we are okay so this time you need your hand up up the paper and now how did it because I'm doing it oh yeah done that is the right hand so your left hand again preferably um, and and again towards the bottom of the paper because there's not much of the picture going to go upwards whereas you are going to extend your fingers a bit so towards the bottom of your paper hold your thumb right against that second finger but spread all the others out fairly evenly that's how you want your hand for this one and then just like last time go around the fingers i'm not quite fitting on my table here before i hit the computer so it's uh, there we go and then take your hand away I'll give you a second to uh, to do that because it's not actually that easy drawing around your hands, is it? Surprisingly difficult to do. Okay, now the easiest thing to start with on your on your giraffe face actually is his mouth bit down here. 
this sort of muzzle piece because then you can work out where the lines go so sort of in the middle of the gap where your wrist was and you couldn't draw you want to do a almost a horseshoe shape to sort of denote his mouth and muzzle like that and then when that's in you can just join join the edges up and in again I've not done it particularly well here but it's not too bad not quite as bad as the swan okay so that's got his muzzle and mouth in and you've joined everything up now then let's uh i think we'll do the extensions on his on his ears first which are the obviously the your two edge fingers so the side that your thumb was on this side here where your thumb was that needs from the from just below your thumb there this point here needs to come out and make a make more of an ear shape around where your thumb was. And there's a little line there. This is where you get the dark blue shading. You, when you shade it, it'll be much, much better because it'll look proper colours. But that's the sort of darker brown. And I'm just doing blue and white. Blue and white camel. Have you seen a blue and white camel? Okay, and the ear on the other side comes off from just where your fingers finger came out and it comes off and does that sort of shape. And again, they kind of mark off here. So you've got a darker area. coming right down to that corner darker patch of his ear okay I think that's yeah there's another little darker patch here for now you can just do these lines don't do the shading because you'll want to colour it in nicely with, with proper colours. So you just do the lines and then when you get the guide sheets, you'll be able to see where the shading goes. His eyes go on the edges here, obviously. Got very, very nice eyebrows as this. No, my one hasn't. In the picture it has. Not sure if camels really have such lovely eyebrows, but there we go. Oh, and he's not very straight either, is he? Put his nose in. And some nostrils. And you've kind of... Oh, a little bit of shading there. So a little line there. A little bit of shading there. Again, he's not come out as well as my practice one. So let's show you the practice one. Looks more like something out of a comic book, that one, doesn't he? Could, could have come out of Batman, I reckon. I must say it's not great looking with long... Oh, no. There we go. He does look a little blue, doesn't he? Yours won't. Yours will be beautifully coloured. Like the, uh, like the proper one. And you will get these. You can see it shows you all the stages. So, so if they've not come out great, great, and you want another go, then uh, then you'll get a chance. Right. How are we with that one? Are we ready to move on, or do you want a few minutes to to tinker, or do you want me to go back on any bit of it? 
Anything you want shown again? I might get it a bit better thing, Diamond. Or are we good? I wonder who else we've got. Nice to see so many of you. If you can get on the live chat, somewhere along there at the bottom, I think you'll find a live chat button and you can sign in. It takes a few minutes to actually go through, but it won't, won't take long. I've got two of you on the live chat at the minute. Okay. We are moving on then, unless I get lots of shouts down the down the live chat saying stop. <laughs> we will move on to the fish. Can I do the fish? Now this is the one. This is the one. You can when you do yours, you can spend a lot more time if you want on the detail of the scales and the fins and everything. It's entirely up to you. Can you see from the um their example they've done quite a few quite a few detailed scales I just I just put little lines in because as you probably gathered I'm not very good at drawing um, but it is quite fun the way if you if you just put your hands on the paper it gives you a guideline for starters so this is the one as I say if you really want you could do a rainbow fish you know that rainbow fish story you could color yours as a rainbow fish that's a really good story for these times, actually, isn't it? The rainbow fish and for beavers, friendship and things. Right, so for your fish, you need to be pretty much in the middle of the paper because you've got to put a head on one end. The head's going on the wrist end and the tail is going on your fingers end. So you want to be pretty much in the middle. You need your thumb out for a fin. And you need your little finger out for the other fin. So, about that. Oh! Hi, Jonathan. Nice to see you. Are you alright to go on with the fish? Okay, so again, draw around your hand. Oh, that was that wasn't very good. That wasn't very close. There we go. This is actually surprisingly tricky. The fish. Um, you'd think it would be quite an easy one, but well, I suppose it's only the face, I guess, that's not too good. I did have trouble, even with this. You can tell by his thick lips. I know the picture's got better than him. You can tell by his thick lips. <laughs> I didn't quite get the face right. So let's try and do that harder bit first, shall we? Basically, this is the top of his head. And this is going to go to his mouth. So he goes forward to the bottom of his mouth. And this comes down to meet his mouth. And then you've got... Oh, that's that's actually... That's not too bad this time. Look at that. Give him an eye. Okay. So you join up the wrist end where your wrist was and you couldn't and you couldn't draw you couldn't um, use your pen. The gap becomes his mouth like that. And then for his fins, just from from each finger that stuck out you come down to make the fin. And go across and then colour it again. You might not want to do the shading now because you might seriously want to get your watercolours out or your colouring pencils. Or your pastels or whatever. Whatever you've got. Maybe even your chalks. Or get the glue and the and the um, 
tissue paper out and fill it up like that. That's definitely rainbow fish style, isn't it? Okay. Oh, jolly good. Excellent. We're all up to date then. Jonathan just saying he's done the the swan and the giraffe. Right, and his tail obviously comes out from from your finger's end. You sort of round that off a bit and then his tail comes out from there. Nice big fish tail. And again, I'm just going to do this, but you may well want to take more time over the rest of the evening and the next few days. Call it art for schoolwork. When your teachers say, what art have you done? You can tell them you've learnt how to draw animals with your hands. Okay, now we've just got this fin. There's a, there's a fin here. The little line comes out there and there's another. So this is totally freehand. Just this little gill fin. Like that. Again, I've not done that nearly as well today. But there we go. You get the point. Oh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you my, this is much better. See that little gill fin comes out from there? A little piece to denote his, his face. That's his gills, there his fins and there's his tail. Yeah, this one's a bit, this one's a bit chubby. I think we'll call this a chub. I have no idea what type of fish it is, but it's definitely a chubby one. So he can be a chub. His mouth is better than the other one, but that's about it. <laughs> okay. And then as, I, as you saw on mine, all I did was, was this for the, for the scales all the way down. But if I show you this one again, you can see they've actually detailed him quite quite nicely with scales. And you could go all the way along like that in, instead of leaving him blank. Or as I say, turn him into a rainbow fish. I'm actually quite excited now. I want at least one rainbow fish, please. At least one picture of a rainbow fish would be lovely. Okay, there are your three. If you send me photos, take as long as you want, but send me photos of them and I can cross you off, as I say, on your skills challenge badge or your creative activity badge, depending on which one you need most. Um, and if you want to experiment with other creatures, the book, actually, let me do that. Let me show you what else. book the booklet i've got can't get it in the right place um had all sorts you would not believe how bad my attempts at the three you got were the three i could vaguely do but they've got a palette so you might try and experiment with your own things just see what you can manage an octopus you think that might be quite easy, mightn't you? There you go. I'll leave that on screen a bit just in case you want to play again and try that one. I decided doing all those extra long tentacles would, would perhaps be a bit difficult. Could run out of paper. But you might enjoy that one. And the other one I tried, which was a complete disaster, was, oh, the elephant. That was a complete disaster. That is quite tricky, the elephant, because you've got to add all those legs. And But you can see what I mean about using, just using the shape of your hand, depending on how you spread your fingers. So experiment. Have some fun. Just draw, draw around your hand first and see what animal it turns into and if you send me some of those that would be lovely too but um but for your badge you can send me just one for your badge to be honest with you but i'd love to see all three okay so before i sign off are you guys those of you that are on oh, let's get let's get back to uh, back to me although you might not want to see me really might you there you go Hi. Um, 
those of you who are on live chat, are you all okay with that? Are you all up to speed? Is there anything you want gone over again? Or are we happy to get colouring in? I'm waiting for responses. That's why there's a big silence. Somebody will tell me in a minute. Yeah, we're good. Thank you, Camilla. Lee and Mark, we good? Mark's okay. I keep switching between grown-up names and kids' names. Yeah, good. I'm very glad you're excited. All good there. Excellent. The rest of you, I've not got on live chat, so I'm hoping you're up to date. But as I say, all the instructions will be emailed now. Um, so you can see the colourings. And uh, Gabriel, I'm very excited to see them all coloured in. I definitely want a rainbow fish, as I say. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and uh, we didn't last time, but let's finish with our goodbye, which we don't often do in the hall, to be frank with you, but I'm going to do it anyway. So until next week, oh, we're cooking next week. I shall send you ingredients and we're cooking next week. Okay, so G-O-O-D-B-Y-E, goodbye. Got to find the stop now. <laughs> Bye, everyone.